We've talked about the six regions organized to address impaired waters in Iowa. This is a slide showing the change in impaired waters from 1998 to 2008. The lines are streams and rivers, the dots are lakes. And let's see, let's make this bigger. There we go. You can see easily that many more streams are impaired in 2008 than they were in 1998, just 10 years. It takes a closer look, you see that there are many lakes, many more lakes that are impaired also. It's kind of, you can sort of go dotty looking at it, but uh, say, look, up here, well, there's one that's better, perhaps, but then there's one down here that wasn't impaired in two, 1998 that is now. And there are two in this county that are now impaired, and there was only one before. So there's some improvement, but there's uh, also some uh, uh, disimprovement, I guess. Uh, there are three, it looks like there are three here in this one, and uh, just one here. So some up and down, but um, it's not going away. So there, how can six offices, you know, if, if there are this many impaired waterways, looks like the Des Moines River here, almost all the way down, every part of it, uh, Cedar River kind of going through here is impaired. Um, how can the six offices uh, do take care of a state when there are 56,000 square miles in the state uh, and all these rivers? It just seems like uh, we need to pay a lot more attention to impaired rivers. Well, let's look again, and a little differently than before, at the ecological regions of Iowa. And here I have to call up the, the uh, website this way. Oops. There we go. Okay. Okay, this is this map is produced as it says by the Iowa Department of Natural Resources for the watershed uh, monitoring and assessment uh, program. And it shows four distinctly different regions, but then seven regions of this particular type of uh, number 47. Number 40 in the southeastern part of the state along the Missouri border are less flats over till soils. Several rivers begin here, then flow into the state of Missouri before entering the Missouri River itself. It's this area of significant erosion. And I want to move on to the, uh, the next slide here, if I can. Yeah, let's see. There we go. So here you can see the, the rivers that start in the southern part of Iowa, particularly the Cheriton River, but also the Thompson River and the Grand River, and they all kind of flow together at this point on the Missouri, in the state of Missouri. And then you have the Platte River uh, flowing down uh, into uh, Kansas, and the Nottoway River flowing down to Kansas. And then you have here the uh, Nishnabotna River that flows through the very tip of Missouri and enters just across from uh, southern Nebraska. So there are several rivers there. They're not, you know, terribly big rivers, but they are uh, significant. You know, here's the Des Moines River flowing through the middle of the state. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to go back to this. Uh, Echo regions, if I can. There we go. Okay, so you'll see that um, most of the state is in number 47 of one type or another. It's very similar to a map that we saw earlier, the second map in this whole section called Natural Regions. But here we see 47E and 47F are divided up. Um, 47E has very steeply rolling hills and severe erosion, 47F more gently rolling hills. The most distinctive regions are 52, which I referred to earlier as Little Switzerland. It's kind of an area that was not flattened out by glaciers. And then uh, region 72, 
an alluvial region in uh, southeastern Iowa. It's where Muscatine is, an area called Fruitland. A lot of uh, melons are grown there. A lot of uh, it's very uh, rich, low-lying, and so it's warm um, uh, agricultural area. And um, so those are the the four basic regions, and then these are split up into you know the Des Moines lobe in the northwestern area, and this is called the Iowa region. Uh, and then the uh, the, the uh, Missouri Valley and the Lys Hills here along uh, the Iowa Valley, the Missouri Valley. Okay. Now finally in this, uh, we looked at Missouri. Finally in this uh, mini lecture, I want to look at the locations of towns. Now, let's enlarge that. Okay, the location of towns across the state partly to locate the, uh, mainly to locate the towns hosting the regional offices of the Iowa Department of Natural Resources. And their, interest, their locations are interesting. So it's uh, Manchester, uh, and this is uh, the county seat of Delaware County. It's right on the Maquoketa River. You can see the Maquoketa here, uh, going down that way through the town of Maquoketa into the Mississippi. And this is one of the impaired rivers. And then Mason City, up here, and this is the uh, the Winnebago River that flows into the Shell Rock River, which then flows into the Cedar River, and much of that is impaired also. Uh, Spencer is on the uh, right south of the the Great Lakes of of Iowa, Spirit Lake and the Storm not Storm Lake, but uh, Lake Okoboji. But here's the Little Sioux River. It flows down through the northwestern part of the state down to Onawa, kind of halfway between Sioux City and Bur and and Council Bluffs, and uh, and then Atlantic, and this is on the uh, the Nottoway River. Oh, let's see here. It's on the I'm sorry. It's on the East Nishnabotna River. The Nottoway is a little bit to the east. So East Nishnabotna, that's a significant river, and here's the West Nishnabotna, and they join up and uh, flow into the Missouri just south of uh, just south of the state. And uh, Des Moines, of course, is on the Des Moines River, and the Raccoon River flows into it, and there are a whole bunch of rivers there, and they occasionally get severely flooded. But that's an important river. And then finally, Washington. And what river is Washington on? Well, it's not on a river, but it's very close to Long Creek, which is just to the north, and that flows into the, um, the Iowa River. And to the south is Crooked Creek, and it flows this way, and then it flows that way, and it flows into the Skunk River. So all of these uh, towns that are kind of headquarters are right on rivers or very close to rivers and uh, kind of got most of the river is pretty well covered. I guess not the Iowa River uh, particularly, but um, uh, Washington does you know, is close to the uh, tributary of the Iowa River. So we see that these all towns are, uh, are their county seats um, and most of them are fairly small, five to ten thousand but they're able to observe some significant rivers in their part of the state. Of course, none of these rivers, Maquoketa or Des Moines River particularly, they're all internal rivers to the state. They're not river, the big rivers that everybody in the country would know about, the Missouri and the Mississippi on either side. But they are very important rivers for, uh, for fishing and important rivers for agriculture and they're important rivers for the towns that they flow through <clears throat> to, uh, to keep track of. So that's what I want to get at in this lecture.